Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to do a full feeding video to show you guys what I feed Bella. Um, not every day. Her diet varies. I change the meat. But um, I've had a few requests. And so this is what I do on a daily basis. First off is uh, she gets a daily fish oil for supplemented omega-3. And she also gets uh, this Vetri Science K9 Plus Everyday Health uh, Vitamins. And it goes by the body weight of the dog. So she gets two. She's about uh, 50 pounds. Get down, girl. Um, she's about 50 pounds. Um, today, uh, well, this week, um, she's been on chicken. So um, she's eating chicken quarters. And uh, she loves this stuff, as you can see. She's, like, sticking her head in the camera. Um, chicken quarters, and, you know, it's the rule of thumb is about 10% of the dog's body weight in, uh, in meat. And about, you know, I tend to eyeball it, 10% of that in organ. This is not chicken organs. This is actually uh, beef liver and beef uh, kidney that's what it is and um, also laying around you know I had uh, some sardines so I'm gonna go ahead and just put that in since I had it laying around but usually if I have just chicken she'll j just get chicken um, gonna put that in there like an extra bonus for her um, and uh, an egg you know, I give her a daily daily egg, and what I tend to do is just, you know, crush the uh, eggshell really finely. You know, you can collect the eggshells, bake them, make them into a powdered form. You know, it's easier to digest. Um, I don't always do it that way. I like it this way because it provides some roughage in the dog's diet. And, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's see if Bella appreciates her, uh, her meal. I'm just gonna wash my hands. Alright, so let me take some over. Let's see how Bella does. Sit. Sit. Stay. Stay. Say hi, Bella. Stay. Alright. Eat, baby. She usually uh, tends to eat everything else in the bowl and save her chicken for last. Um, since, ever since I've started this uh, raw diet, I, I must say, um, I've seen tremendous changes. She's not as bloated, definitely not as bloated. Uh, compared to a kibble diet, her stool is uh, much better. It's dry. It tends to decay on its own really, really quickly. And um, she's never had any problems with diarrhea. And she's very, very energetic. Very energetic and very eager for the raw diet compared to kibble. Um, maybe on the next video I'll show a uh, raw versus kibble bowl and see which one she goes for. She might go for both. She's always...
think I'm gonna take the chicken out of the bowl for her. Give her a hand here. Now, my chicken quarter is frozen. Uh, whether it's frozen or thawed, really doesn't matter. I tend to freeze all my, all of my raw meats that she eats for at least three days to kill off all bacteria and parasites. Um, just my method. It really doesn't make a difference in my mind if the meat is frozen or not. Now something like steak or lamb, you know, beef, stuff like that, I'm probably going to thaw because I really want her to uh, utilize her neck and jaw muscles to uh, get down in there and shred the meat. But she loves this stuff. It's a great challenge. It's not easy food. She has to work for it. And ultimately, that's what you want to do. You want to mimic their diet as closely as possible to their wild ancestors.
it's cleanup time. Good job, babe. Bella. Bella. Finish with clean that up. That's basically a full feeding video, as you can see, you know, I took her a few minutes in the beginning to show you what she eats, and, you know, and I would say under eight, maybe seven, seven minutes, she's already done, she's good. Alright, thank you guys for watching, if you have any more uh, requests on videos, uh, Please feel free, leave a comment, let me know. I'll be happy to upload another one. I'm going to say bye for now. Bella's going to say bye. Bella! Uh, she's uh, preoccupied with the smell. But um, see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed the video.